Hello, everybody. I'm Nightmare Zodiac. Today, I will be starting a whole new Let's Play of Stardew Valley. Alrighty, everybody. I've chosen my name as Vixen. My farm name will be Zodiac, favorite thing Moon, animal preference cat, and I have created my character. I will not be skipping the intro. That seems... I will be leaving the settings as is. I will be doing the forest farm. This is honestly one of my favorite farms to play on. And... Alrighty, everybody. Let the adventure begin! all the people at work. One terminated. One's crazy on energy drinks. There's me. Oh, look. A skeleton. Dear Vixen, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy. Zodiac Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley, on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Alrighty. Stardew Valley, half a mile. Hello, 
You must be Vixen. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over there, if you'll follow me. This is Zodiac Farm. Yeah, it's a lot to clean up. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown. But there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. And here we are. Your new home. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Mayor Lewis of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage? That's a good house. Very rustic. Rustic? That's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Rude! Don't listen to her, Vixen. She's very. Tr she's just trying to make you dissatisfied, so that you buy one of her new house grade. Uh. Don't listen to her, Vixen. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied, so that you buy one of her house upgrades. <gasps> anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit. And introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Oh! I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. There we go. I just wanted to make sure that all my volume was good. I'm going to start by clearing up some things around here. Because I need to make a spot to plant my parsnip seeds. But I do need to remember to keep an eye on my energy. Once I get a good little section here, clear it out, we'll get to planting. Gather some wood. There we go. I 
need one more spot, I think. Yep, there we go. Time to water my plants. Energy isn't too bad. I'm gonna try to do some scavenging so I can make some little, um... They're... What's the name for it? Crafting. Uh, looks like I don't have the snack bar or... Whatever it's called, available yet? The cool thing about the Scythe is that it takes no energy. That's very helpful. You can find these little seeds. I want to see, it's the axe. It's been a while since I've gathered it. But you're going to want to plant your seeds, create a chest, and gather a few other odds and ends. Before I get too far, I am going to create a chest because I really don't want to run out of room. When you're first starting out, it's really easy to run out of space in your small backpack until you can buy a new one. And let me tell you, they're not cheap. <laughs> Crafting. Ooh, I still need more wood. All right. Cuts down some more trees. I need a little more wood and then I can create my chest. There we go. Got enough to create a chest. It's been so long since I've uh, played this game. I kind of forgot how quick your energy bar goes down. And you really need to keep an eye on that. I'm just going to place my chest. I think that's how you... Boop, there we go. I'm just going to put all of these in the hair for now. I chose the forest farm because there's actually quite a bit of stuff that you can forage to complete your community bundles. And these stumps right here are hardwood. You're going to need hardwood for quite a few things in the future, but you won't be able to... Why can't I get through here? I'm going to go around. Um... You have to upgrade your axe to be able to harvest the hardwood. I think it's the gold axe that you need for that. There we go. And here's a dandelion. Oh, there's one of the villagers, Jas. Yeah. Can I give her something? 
Is this a gift? Oh. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing some exploring around just to see all the forgeables I can get for today. I am playing Stardew Valley on the PlayStation. So, I don't think I can do any mods, but I also haven't done a whole lot of research for that. Here we go! Spring onions! These are really good for befriending lioness and for a good little boost of energy as well. And here's a wild horseradish. You will be needing that for the spring bundle as well, for the foraging one. I'm gonna see if Marnie is here. Ooh, she is! There she is! Thank you, this looks nice. You're welcome, Marnie. Ah, uh, Mary Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. I know. That's Shane's room. There's Jess again. Let's do some exploring into town. Leia! Hello, it's nice to meet you! You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. Yeah, if you're gonna go through the garbage cans, just make sure no villagers are around. Because you lose friendship. I know it's kind of gross, but you can get some interesting things. And even very valuable things. There's the sewer. The sewer itself has a lot of cool secrets, but unfortunately I do not have the key yet. I have to donate a ton of stuff to the museum to get that. This is honestly such a very beautiful and wonderful game. I remember when I first played this game, um, it was on the PC. I bought it through Steam. I fell in love with the game, and I eventually bought it for my console here. Concerned Ape has done such an amazing job. And I honestly cannot wait for Haunted Chocolate Tear to come out. And I know you other folks who are fans of this game, we can't wait either. And that was Clint. Concerned Ape is such an amazing person and he's so good at what he does. And... Ooh. I think I'm gonna... Can I drop the newspaper? Yeah. The fact that he created this game all by himself... It's just mind-boggling. There's so much content that he's added since he's made this game. I'm going to have to start heading back to my house because it's too late. The last thing I want to do is pass out on my first day. I'm not in a I'm not a super amazing gamer, but I'm also not completely terrible.
so much to do. So little time. Is that a leak? Dag nabbit. Um, I know it's probably not a smart thing to do, but I will toss those seeds away just so I can pick that up. Ooh. I know a lot of you probably gonna be yelling at me. Oh, why'd you throw that away? Well, it's so I could get that. Lost book. You found a lost book. The library's collection has been expanded. Is that another worm? I can't see worth a crud. Oh gosh. <laughs> I forgot how dark it gets without the darn glow ring. I'm actually not going to sell anything tonight. But I can like this. Cozy. Living off the land. There go. There it is, field snack. That's what I was trying to tell you earlier. I just forgot the darn name of it. Now we can create field snacks and wild seeds. Refill this. And then I'm going to put it away. I do know... I don't know why it's all kind of slow and laggy like that. There we go. There's an advertisement for the backpack. Doesn't really matter much. Letter from Willie. Go on down and get my fishing rod. Fishing can be a good way to earn some gold in this game. Here's our cutscene with Willie. Oh, hi there, miss. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet ya. Ah, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Here. I want you to have me old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stay alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. Thank you, Willie. You received a bamboo pole. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need any supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what me old pappy used to say anyway. That was a terrible cast. There we go. I kind of forgot you need to hold down to really use it. Whee! There 
we go. Herring. Sweet. If you want to go to a good spot to catch some fish, right here by this rock, cast out your line, you can get some good quality fish. Good quality fish means more money. There we go. I'm probably only going to catch a few more fish and then do some more exploring around. Because it's probably going to be really boring for you guys to just watch me fish all day. Ooh, seaweed. Eat that for a little bit of energy boost. There's the fish. Ooh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Ooh. Come on. There we go. Caught a halibut, and it's a silver star quality. Dried starfish. I definitely do not have enough wood for this. Which I probably should get really soon. Because there's some nice stuff you can collect on the side of that. I will try fishing in a few different spots. Got the sea. Ugh, trash. Because you got the rivers, the lakes, and then the sea. There we go. That's what I wanted. Didn't want no garbage trash. Beautiful sunfish. <laughs> Let's put the trash where it belongs. Abysmal. Not a single piece in the entire collection. What's this? You found something? Let me see it. Remarkable. It's very old. I love to study this in great detail. But it's yours. Hmm. I've got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artifacts or minerals that you find? We can make a groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows? If you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. Thank you, Gunther. Think about it, will you? If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. Uh, I'm actually going to give some gifts out. There you go, Penny. 
and Jess. Oh, I got enough just to give to him. I don't think he likes this, though. For me? Wow, thanks. You're welcome, Vincent. Oh, hello, I'm Penny. I'm gonna donate a few items while I'm here. And by a few, I mean my dried starfish. <laughs> Alrighty, I opened up a couple spots. Sweet field snack. Ooh. Hello. You brought me a present? Thanks. Hello, Abigail. It's another daffodil. Oh, uh, gonna eat that. Make some room. Here she is. For me, thank you. You're welcome, Haley. This let's play is gonna be a little bit slow in the beginning. Because it takes some time to gather materials, build friendships, all that crazy stuff. Thanks, that was very thoughtful of you. You're welcome, Demetrius. Uh, might as well cut down some trees. Because I need to get some wood to be able to build the bridge. To get over to collect the coral and other such things. Oh yeah, they're still working on that. There's Linus. Let's... Give him something nice. Here you go. A gift? How nice. He's such a good character. I'm getting a tad bit low on energy. I think I have enough to cut down one more tree. And then I'm either going to have to eat something, or just go to bed for the night. Put the wood in there. I don't want to sell any of my items yet, because I do need some of them for the community bundle. And I really would hate to accidentally sell something that I need for that almost immediately. Well, not immediately, but that way I can at least finish the bundle a bit quicker. And yeah, I don't have any energy to really use anything but my scythe right now. So I'm just gonna gather up a ton of fiber and some mixed seeds. This way I can at least gather up some resources, that way I won't have to, like, farm this stuff later. And I'll have them right on hand to create whatever I need to. Ah, sweet, I forgot. On the third of spring, it rains. So I don't need my watering can. Boop. Uh, I am going to bring my wood with me because... I should be able to get enough today to be able to do the bridge. Oops. 
It'd probably help if I actually use my axe instead of my hoe. If you're wondering why I'm not cutting down the stump of the tree, it's not actually worth using uh, extra energy to do that because you really don't get that much more wood when you do cut the stumps. Racks. Oh boy. Because it's not like I can't get racks anywhere. Yeah, there we go. The axe is what you need. The little seeds in the ground, like the acorns and such, you need to use your axe to get them. If you use your pickaxe, I think they will destroy them. Which you don't want to do. Because you need those to help create your field snacks. And field snacks mean more energy. acorns later on in the game you'll be able to get tappers to get pine tar and maple syrup but obviously way too early in the game and just ain't able to do that right now Ooh, I'm gonna Yep, sorry. Yay, we got a field snack. Gonna explore this area real quick. Don't see any forageables. I'm gonna head down to the beach to see if I have enough wood to build the bridge. I think I do, but I could be very wrong. Nothing in the trash cans. Do do do. Do I have enough? Dag nabbit! I need 300 wood and only have like 250? Alright, I need to clearly eat my snack. And chop down some more trees. See if I can find any food in the trash cans. Nope. Grab that. Heck yeah, 300 even. Now let's go build this bridge. There's just something honestly peaceful about like thundery, rainy, gloomy weather. I mean, sunshiny weather's fun and all and nice, but there's just something real peaceful. Just listening to the rain. Dark, overcast cloudiness. Some worms. 
games. See if I can find play. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with clay, but eh, not what I'm really needing right now. Oh, I could do some fishing. Because there's some fish you could only catch during certain weather. So let's go. I don't think I'm gonna risk it for the treasure chest. Well, you know what? Nope, I'm gonna I'm gonna risk it. Ooh, flounder. And fish bait, sweet. Since there's only one fiber, I'm, I'd rather just toss that away and keep the fish and bait. I'm going to go up towards the community center to see if it is. Ooh, hello, Sebastian. Oh, and you moved. You just moved in, right? Cool. Hee <laughs> You want a pine cone? Probably not. Hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think we're going to get along just great. Sorry, Alex, but there's only room for one man in my life. Oh, crud. Oops. Found a lost book. Alrighty. Nope, that's not what I want to do. Oh boy, more clay. What'd that frog say to me? I want a rope. Oh, hi Linus. No frog, no. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna try to catch Linus a fish. I mean, I could give him my flounder, but it's like a silver star. I really don't want to do that. He's not getting anything. I think I'm gonna head on back. I'm sorry, Linus. I'll get you something tomorrow. Aww. I'm gonna put my stuff away in my chest. Because I am a hoarder. And I like to collect things. Mm -hmm. I, I will keep my watering can on me because I think I might need it tomorrow. Sweet survival burger. Ooh, level up in fishing. Very nice. All right, everybody. That's going to conclude the first part of my Stardew Valley Let's Play. 
hopefully all of you are enjoying this let's play for now and hopefully y'all will look forward to more stuff to come in the future bye bye